Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video uh, is a dessert and it's Lebanese. I think um, in Arabic it's called Layali Lubnan, but I think it translates to like Lebanese nights or lights, nights of Lebanon. It's a very easy dessert, very soft and smooth and creamy and yeah, it's super simple to make, very common ingredients and I'll show you guys how to make it. Uh, this dessert is going to be a two-layer dessert. So for the first layer, we're going to need five cups of milk, a cup of semolina, half a cup of sugar, a quarter cup of uh, orange blossom water, a, a pinch of salt, and we're going to use about three pieces of... This is mastica. Um, I'm not sure how you say that in English, but I think it's the same name. For the second layer, we're going to do three cups of milk, three tablespoons of flour, one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of orange blossom water, and here we're, we're going to do two boxes of cream, uh, just qishta cream. Uh, we're going to do two boxes because they're small, otherwise you can use just one big box. So for our first step, we're going to grind together uh, three to four pieces of mastica with just a little bit of sugar. So this is the consistency that we're looking for, uh, for it to become a powder. Now we're going to set this aside and move on to our next step. For our next step, we're going to grab a saucepan, uh, make sure it's medium sized. We're going to pour in the cup of semolina the sugar and a pinch of salt. Now uh, we're going to add the milk. So using the same cup that you use to measure your semolina, you're going to add five uh, cups of milk. So this is the fifth and final cup. And now we're just going to whisk it. So on medium to low heat, you're going to put your uh, mixture and we're going to keep stirring until it thickens. Once you feel that it has started to thicken, you're going to add the orange blossom water. And also the sugar and mastica. And now we're just going to keep stirring until it has thickened and started boiling. So as you can see, it has thickened and now we're just going to take it off the heat. As you can see, it's nice and creamy and now we're going to pour it onto our tray. So we've just poured our mixture to the tray and don't use a spatula or anything, just slightly move it and it will straighten out. And also, this is a very important step. As you can see, it has not burned at the bottom. And just because that is because we kept stirring. If you just left it, it will burn. So it's very important that you just keep stirring. I'm just going to let it cool at room temperature. Traditionally, or usually, they just put cream on top and straighten it out, decorate it, and serve it. But we're going to just um, add a little more. We're going to add a few steps. For our next step, we're going to put three cups of milk in a saucepan. So this is my third and final cup. So these are three cups, uh, I repeat, these are three cups. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So the sugar, flour, 
and cornstarch. And also a pinch of salt. And this is important for every step just to give it a balance. We're going to repeat essentially the same step as the last one. We're going to whisk it and we're going to put it on medium to low to medium heat uh, until it thickens. So I'll just repeat this. We're going to keep mixing uh, without stopping until it thickens. It has started to thicken and now we're going to add some like a tablespoon of orange blossom water but you can do as much or as little as you want it uh, preference now we're just going to let it boil for three minutes and then we're going to take it off the heat so we just took it off the heat as you can see it's nice and thick now we're going to add our uh, cream And we're going to mix it and then we'll move on to our next step. So once we've mixed the cream uh, with the rest of everything, we're going to slowly start pouring it onto our layer, which has already cooled down. And just so we're careful so they don't mix together, we're just going to pour it over a spoon very gently. So now we're going to wait for it to cool down uh, at room temperature and then we will uh, put it in the fridge. You can uh, let it uh, minimum, it needs to be cooled down minimum of four hours, but we're going to just leave it overnight. And now we're going to make syrup for it to like be served. So it's very simple, very straightforward. One cup of water and one cup of sugar we're going to wait for it to uh, to dissolve uh, and to reach a boiling point uh, you can stir I don't uh, you're just going to gently mix it like this and then we're going to add uh, a squeeze of lemon juice it's been sitting in the fridge overnight as you can see it is holding its shape and uh, we've added pistachios on top which is how they were traditionally served but it's very customizable. You can use almonds, coconut, whatever you want. And now we're just going to cut it to show you guys uh, what it looks like. So we've sliced it now and to serve, you can add a little bit of syrup or it's a preference as much as you want. The reason it's uh, this dark color is because we didn't use white sugar. It's not white sugar, but at the same time, it's not brown sugar. So I'll just add a little bit because I don't like my desserts too sweet. It's very soft. Um, I like the texture of the first layer with the semolina and then on top it's like a mhallabiya texture. But it's a lot softer and it's very smooth, very creamy. And it's not too sweet. So um, yeah, I highly recommend making this. It's very easy, very simple. It tastes really great. Yeah. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and like, share, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and also follow me on my social media for more updates, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!